Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we're actually going to be trying to extract some caffeine from coffee. So here I brought, bought the cheapest coffee I could. This is just under one kilogram of coffee. And we're going to see how much caffeine is in this entire container here. So hopefully we'll get more than one gram. Uh, because I did this extraction in the past, I didn't actually end up putting a video up about it. But out of about 30 grams of caffeinated tea, I got like 0.001 grams of caffeine or something. Uh, it really wasn't very much, or maybe it was 0 0.01, or 0 0.1 grams. Um, anyhow, I can't remember, but we're going to be doing this on a far larger scale. So there's really only a couple in materials that we need to uh, get our caffeine out of here. We're going to need some dichloromethane, which I haven't grabbed quite yet. Of course, we're going to need some coffee. Uh, we don't want decaffeinated coffee, of course, because we want the caffeine in there. And we'll also need some sodium carbonate. Now, this is kind of optional, but it's the sodium carbonate is just going to help by increasing the solubility of caffeine in the solution. So by adding a bit of that to our coffee as we boil it and uh, make coffee pretty much, it'll help uh, bring the caffeine out of the solution so we can extract it later with the dichloromethane. Other than that, we might need a bit of ethanol to recrystallize our caffeine, but that's it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, empty all of these, the contents of this caffeine into, or the coffee into the pot, and then of course add a little bit of sodium carbonate, which is simply heated up baking soda. We made this in a previous video. Just take baking soda, heat it up very hot, and it decomposes into sodium carbonate. This will help bring the caffeine out, and then we should be able to extract from that. So I'll get everything ready, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so what we did was we took all of that coffee, added in about 200 grams of sodium carbonate, and 4 liters of water, and I put it all in a pot that was actually bigger than the pot I showed you because it didn't all fit in there. Then I boiled it for about 20 minutes or so so that hopefully all of the caffeine came out into the water, and hopefully now we have a fairly strong solution of caffeine. This is basically just really strong coffee. And it was filtered through a strainer into here. Not an actual filter, just a strainer, because we don't necessarily need all the particles out, just most of them. Anyhow, so to extract our um, caffeine, we're actually using this dichloromethane here, which is actually what we produced in a previous video. Uh, we rather distilled it from varnish remover. So you could go check that out to see how to do that. And I believe we have about 800 milliliters or so of in there and we're going to be using all of it and of course we can recover it so it's not like we're going to be wasting any or anything uh, oh by the way the sodium carbonate the reason why we added that was there's other things in caffeine which will react with the sodium carbonate forming water soluble salts this will a help more caffeine dissolve out of those um uh, caffeine granules or uh, coffee granules and um because the other compounds which react with the sodium carbonate are more soluble, they're less likely to go into the dichloromethane layer and stay in the water layer. Because um, our caffeine, what we're going to do is it's going to go into the dichloromethane layer because dichloromethane is not mixable, immiscible with water. So it will go into the dichloromethane layer because it's more soluble in dichloromethane than caffeine is soluble in the water. That's the principle behind everything. Anyhow, so we're going to go ahead and add in all of our dichloromethane and then we're going to be mixing this up fairly vigorously but not too vigorously because we might form an emulsion but hopefully all our caffeine will go into the dichloromethane layer and then we can move on to further processing it okay so our dichloromethane has been added and I shook it around fairly vigorously oh and by the way there was 800 milliliters of dichloromethane anyhow I shook it around fairly vigorously to get everything well mixed hopefully most of our caffeine is dissolved into the dichloromethane and we now need to wait a fair amount to let it settle out to the bottom you can bear yeah, the camera's not really picking it up. The organic layer is about right here, where the dichloromethane is, but um, we do really want it all to settle out. And the dichloromethane seems to have picked up some sort of organic material, because it is now an orangish brown color, so it kind of blends in. But um, we definitely need to let this separate for a fair amount of time. Now, the reason why we didn't, we just quickly put it through a screen mesh earlier to filter it, was because if we coffee put it through coffee filters or something it would take a long time the solution would cool down and some of our caffeine could possibly come out of solution crystallize out which is undesirable because we want as much caffeine as possible of course so the solution was filtered through a sieve while still hot and the remaining solution had some smaller chunky things in it but because it was still hot we weren't losing any caffeine of course before adding the dichloromethane we must let the solution cool down 
because the dichloromethane boils at around 40 degrees Celsius. So if it's too hot, the dichloromethane will just boil. So of course it does have to be uh, cooled down, but as it cools down, any caffeine that might crystallize out well, will not be filtered off. Instead, when we added the dichloromethane, the caffeine which would have, uh, which did crystallize out, just dissolved into the dichloromethane layer. This helps limit some of our losses. Anyhow, so we'll let this settle out probably for another 20 minutes or so, and after that we're going to be transferring this into a separatory funnel to separate off the lower organic layer, um, which contains our caffeine. Then we'll move on to purifying that, and hopefully get some pure caffeine in the end. Okay, so, after everything had been washed, or well, mixed around and let to settle with the DCM, um, or dichloromethane, I took it and added it bit by bit to a separatory funnel. This is a 500 milliliter separatory funnel here, and I'm using my ring stands for a different thing outside at the moment, so I just use this tall container to hold it in. Anyhow, as you can see, there's no more organic layer at the bottom because we've removed all of it, it looks like. But um, basically, they were allowed to, the layers were allowed to separate, and then the lower dichloromethane layer was taken off. And you can see that actually right here. And it's very dark because there's lots of organic impurities in it, but it's not, actually not as dark as our other solution. And when the, when the dichloromethane layer comes down to this thin neck of the separatory funnel, you can actually see through the layer very well. So it's not actually that challenging to see where the layers separate. <clears throat> Anyhow, so now that everything's been separated out, we're going to be washing it to pull out any other um, water that might still be present in here. Um, so we have a saturated sodium chloride solution, which is just simply table salt. I have about 400 milliliters here, and it uh, has a very large amount of salt dissolved in it. I basically just kept adding it till no more dissolved. So I'll add this in, and it'll pull any water out of our dichloromethane layer. Um, and it shouldn't it won't form an emulsion or anything because of the um, the the salt water will pull the other water out of the dichloromethane here so we can help purify it a bit more. Then we'll be able to separate that off again with the separatory funnel after I discard the upper or the uh, current layer in there which still contains our coffee impurity stuff and we'll be able to take our dichloromethane layer and extract the caffeine from it. So we're going to start by taking our saturated sodium chloride solution and simply dumping it in. And it should form a nice layer on top. Perhaps some of this organic impurity will go into the upper layer and it'll help us out. I'll probably give this a fairly vigorous shake around here so we can hopefully get some more of that stuff. And it looks like it's kind of going into the upper layer. Yeah, I'll shake it around and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we have a separate thing going on in the background over there. But after distilling off all the dichloromethane, here's our crude caffeine, I guess. It actually smells really horrendous. It has some sort of inner, or, um, organic impurity, which is just disgusting. I don't even know what it is at all, but we need to now purify this. Now, caffeine sublimates, so I was thinking sublimation, but whatever this organic stuff is in here that's an impurity, it needs to be gone. So we're going to be taking some 95% uh, ethanol, and we're going to be re-dissolving the caffeine in some ethanol. Hopefully the other organic stuff will be insoluble in the ethanol. And yeah, alternatively besides ethanol, we might try water because hot water actually will dissolve caffeine quite well. Um, and then cold water, caffeine is quite insoluble. So we might be able to separate the organic impurities that way also. I'll try a couple things and tell you exactly what I do. I'll meet you back in a bit. Okay, so after distilling the dichloromethane, it actually came over a kind of brownish, so I'm redistilling it and hopefully it will come out clearer. And then of course, um, we've just taken the water. Uh, we, I decided to use water as a solvent, so I took some water and I put it in here and it's boiling right now, so all the caffeine should be dissolved into the water, hopefully. Um, and whatever that organic impurity is, I'm not sure if it's dissolved into the water or if it's just kind of coating everything, but it's still in there also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly fi uh, gravity filter it. Um, so I'll pour everything into this filter paper here, it'll filter through, and I'm going to transfer this beaker onto the hot plate once we're done filtering to keep the solution warm. So, as it filters through and stays warm, hopefully the caffeine will stay in solution, and hopefully we'll be left with a clear solution, although I'm doubtful of that. But, regardless of the color of the solution, we should be able to crystallize out our caffeine, and it should be a lot purer. 
I've decided to use water instead of ethanol or a different solvent because water is easily obtainable and I was curious to see if it would work with water water because um ethanol you I personally make it myself and then distill it to 95% purity but it can be difficult to obtain for some people but everyone of course can contain, uh, obtain water and now I'll filter this off see what happens and meet you back okay so I'm super excited after filtering it off um, in the funnel here you can see all that black organic goop actually filtered off which is very surprising and we were left with a clear solution it was slightly yellow but mostly clear so I took that and then we had about 140 milliliters of it and I put it in the freezer to cool down now the inside part is still liquid but you could see all the caffeine that crystallized out which is excellent so that looks like it totally worked very very well so I'm gonna break this up with glass stir rod and well filtered off and whatnot, and but everything's crystallized out, so that's excellent. I'm very happy with that, and the caffeine looks quite white and pure. We might do another recrystallization, but I'm very, very happy with what we have so far. So it looks like water, you don't actually need ethanol to recrystallize this from. Water works just as well, um, because after whatever organic purities we had in there, they were not soluble in the water. They were, they're oily. Um, this is an oily substance in the funnel here. Um, it's a very thick, viscous liquid, but um, uh, upon filtering it off, it comes off totally fine. It's not soluble in the water, which is perfect. Anyhow, I'll break this up, and we'll try to filter off whatever it is and let any ice crystals in here melt and whatnot, but it looks like we got a fair amount of caffeine. I mean, t 10 grams is the lethal dose of caffeine. I'm pretty sure we have more than 10 grams here, so as long as I don't eat all that, I'll be fine, and don't plan on eating any at all. Anyhow, nonetheless, I'll break it up, filter it off, and meet you back. Okay, so there is all of our pure caffeine. It was weighed and dried, and well dried, then weighed, and I just have it on a scale, and it's reading 0 0.945 grams, so just under one gram of caffeine, and that came from 1,000 grams of coffee. So, this is definitely a very poor yield. I mean, there's certainly more than one gram of caffeine in all of that coffee. On average, one cup of coffee um, contains about 100 milligrams of caffeine. So, and with a kilogram of coffee, you can make way more than just 10 cups of coffee. But, we still did successfully extract some very nice caffeine, as you can see right here. Um, it's a nice powder. It's decently white. Uh, it might be a little bit impure, but it's still nice. Um, I'm just glad that we actually extracted caffeine. I don't really have a use for it, so I'll probably just let it sit on my shelf. Um, it's neat that we were able to extract caffeine, but I don't plan on doing any other videos on it, because it's not actually really that useful. Um, anyhow, that's essentially how to extract caffeine from coffee, so for one entire kilogram of coffee, we were able to extract one gram of caffeine, but certainly, if you were to... I don't know, go to the store and buy some caffeine pills or something, you could do a much better extraction. It's just kind of difficult to extract from coffee. You could try this method, perhaps you get some more and you get a better yield, but we should definitely be in the higher range of amount of caffeine than just one gram. But I'm still happy that we have that, and that's all I wanted to do was try to extract some, and we succeeded. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future video. Wait, bye.